Hear the dorks. Popping corks. We're glad to see you again. We are the cork. And only cork again. So I thought it was one and only. You just added that. We just ran over this before this. I don't know. I added something it's apparently. It's episode 10, yo. 10th episode. Woo. 10. How about that? Yeah. How about that? We've been away for a while. We have been away for a while. My bad. Yeah. It's Mandy's fault. It is fault. totally Mandy's fault. I'm always jonesing to drink wine. And she's like, man, eh, not tonight. I don't want to do it. Uh, I'm tired. Yeah, it's partly that. And our daughter doesn't like to sleep at night. So. No. Yes. And trying to film with her. Obviously, it's a mess. Has been yeah. an issue. Um, right. We got some exciting stuff in the tenth episode, right? Do you want to yeah. go over what we're doing for our special subscribers? Do you want to talk about that now or yeah. at the end? Let's do okay. it now. Let's, Let's pump them up, and then we'll we'll revisit at the end. Yeah. Okay. So, for our subscribers, here's what we want you to do, and people that are already subscribed, you already counted in. Mm-hmm. Okay. So our future subscribers, you should say future. Current, all of the above. Yeah. Um, so if you subscribe to the Corkigans um, on YouTube, if you already do, you already count. Um, but if you could, oh my gosh, fruit flies. Good. Yeah, they're everywhere. Freaking lose my mind. They love wine. They do love wine. Um, if you will go on and to create a little YouTube screen name, if you don't already have one, and just hit the little subscribe button. Um, that way it tells you whenever we have new videos out, which should be weekly. Mm-hmm. We're working on weekly. Um, and then also, if you have an Instagram or a Facebook, mm-hmm. um, you'll get an extra entry. If you like the post about a giveaway, it'll say giveaway. Yes, we give you these. So you have to like that post. You have to like, subscribe, we'll get you one on entry. On YouTube. Yep, subscribe on YouTube, we'll get you one entry. And then you like the post on Like Instagram. the post on Instagram, we'll get you a second entry. Entry. Uh huh. Like the post on the Facebook group page will get you a third entry. All of it is called the Cork Again. And then a bonus entry. What? Oh, that's the bonus. It's a lot of entries. <laughs> bonus entry. If you um, send us an email to the Cork Again at gmail.com and give a suggestion about a snack or a wine yeah. or a beer or something. Well, something. something you want us to drink and give eat. us a little suggestion. What do so, you win? Do you want to talk about second prize or first prize? Second prize first. Second prize. You win these sweet fall wine stoppers and a bag of wraps. A snacks. bag of wraps <laughs> snacks. Our favorite our current yeah. favorite chip variety. Yeah. That's second place. First place. Mike and I debate back and forth on this. Yeah. First place is going to be a wine tasting with yours truly. We will come to you and we'll bring the wine. We'll bring the snacks. And we'll show you how to taste wine. If you already know how to taste wine, we can skip that part. But we can go over like what we're doing, why we do what we do when we taste. Personal tasting with the Quirky Ends. Yeah. And if you'd like, you can also guest star on an episode of the Quirky Ends. Yeah. <gasps> like a yeah. guest, a guest folk in the Quirky Ends. Sure. Sure. All right. Anyway, um, so first place, one on one time with us, drinking, yeah. eating, snacking. Second place, wrap snacks, wine corks, pumped. So remember, subscribe. subscribe. Number one, subscribe. Number two, like either of the posts. Mm-hmm. Number f- four, There's number two, number three. Four. There's what? number four. Just please somebody send All us right. an email. We miss you. Please yeah. love us. We like interaction. We do. We totally love interaction. All what, right. What one are we starting with? The white? Yeah, let's do white. Wait, but the white goes with a sweet snack. <gasps> oh, what do we do? I we can know. start red. Let's start red. You start red? Let's start okay. it up. Let's mix it up. Throw it up, throw it up. All right. Um, this what is the first? Cosentino. Is it Cosentino Lodi? Is no, it? it's Cigar. It's okay. from the Lodi Valley. Okay, it's Cosentino Cigar Old Vine Zinfandel. 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 Mm-hmm. You tell us about this. I will. Um, old Vine. Exactly what you think it is. These grapes are from older vines, mm-hmm. thought to produce better fruit. Um, so there's that. Um, it's from, I like to think it's a warmer climate. I've never been there, but everything I read says uh, Napa, Lodi Valley, warm climate, great furs and fidels. Um, 14 day fermentation on this guy. Mm. Um, it's aged in French oak, which is important. French oak, remember little bit spicier um 
arguably more expressive than American oak. With American oak, you're getting a lot of vanilla, uh, but with French oak, you get you get spices. So, um, important distinction. Important. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Fruit flies. Fruit flies. Yeah. Terrible. All right. All right. Let's smell. Whoa, clumsy. Ooh. Raspberries. It's not my fruit. Green peppers. Black pepper. What you okay. get? Um, getting like a cinnamon. Sure. Yeah. Uh, black cherries. Mm -hmm. Raspberries. Mm -hmm. Don't sniff it. I know. Don't sniff it too much. <laughs> Don't sniff it up my nose like Don't I did that one. Snort Zinfandel tonight. Yeah, it's uh, hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's taste. Let's taste. Mm. It's a lot sweeter than I thought it would be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. and a little bit of spice in the back end. Now I'm getting like blackberry. Yeah. Jam. Mm -hmm. Like a very jammy feel on the, mm -hmm. on the palate. Ooh, it's very good. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. This is a crowd pleaser. Mm -hmm. You could bring this to any party. Everyone will like this. Not too astringent. Um, not to, I was expecting way more tannins. Yeah. Uh, you don't get a lot of that. Interesting. No. Very soft tannins. This is really good. This is excellent. Kind of like, this reminds me of a baked, like, blackberry cherry pie. Because you get some baking spices in here. Um, thinking nutmeg, mm. but I can't go that far. Cats. Cats are playing with the baby toys in the yeah. other room. Great. Um, this is really great. What would you pair with this before we're going to try it with what we're going to try it with? Um, something meaty. Okay, like well, a good. fat, <laughs> fatty, meaty. Uh, I would do like a ribs. A uh, ribs. A uh, ribs. Ribs. A ribs. Um, <laughs> like a fatty pork chop. Okay. Something along those lines. Okay, okay. That's why I pulled these guys out of the cabinet. Well, I'm very excited. Mike picked everything tonight, by the yeah. way, after the catastrophe, catastrophe that was mixed Moscato. Yeah. No offense, Nick Minaj. I like you. Um, so these are Black Castle by Pillars. Mm. Um, salami chips in the picante flavor. Ooh. Um, they're dry cured. So it is... Um, Castle with a K. Castle with a K. That's Castle. Got to be fancy, right? It is fancy. They're made in Canada, so. <laughs> is that <laughs> how they spell castle in Canada? Evidently. They call Little Caesars Pizza Pizza, so they do all <laughs> kinds of strange things with there. Shout out to any of our Canadian fans. I don't think we have I don't any. think we have any <laughs> Canadian fans. Um, anyway, so this one is made with onions, garlic, and habanero um, peppers. I like all those things. Yes, I'm super excited. Let's do it. Not a fan of the jalapeno flavors. I'm excited about the habanero. Um, but anyway, they are wood smoked for seven days and then they're air dried. Ooh. Which smoked. is evidently the old English. Getting a lot of like wood flavors. It smells like straight up wood. Like, so good. smell it. <laughs> it smells like it's. Ooh, yeah. It's, it's so, so smoky. smoky. Sorry. It's okay. Here we go. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Is it spicy? I'm not getting super... Yeah, a little bit at the end. Yeah. I was about to say, it's just another salami. No, but another they're... Another sliced meat. They're, they're very pretty good, good yeah. <laughs> um, I'm kind of enjoying that. They're also... Um, friends that salami chips are um, interested in things like this, like watching their diet. They're gluten free, MSG free, and lactose free. Ooh, yeah. And they have it was like some kind of crazy amount of protein, which I'm always eleven grams of protein per serving. Yeah. What's so, a serving? Uh, half of this. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot of salami. <laughs> Holy mackerel! Right, I'm gonna do one more, and then I'm gonna taste mm. it with the wine. Okay. 
I'm getting a little bit of that habanero. Yeah, like towards now, the yeah, end of it. Now yeah. that I'm breathing it. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's actually a pretty good snack considering. Mm-hmm. Like eleven grams. I'd buy those again. Mm-hmm. Mm. There is a second flavor also. Let me just look at my notes. Old Forest salami. Old Forest. Mm-hmm. It's a German style with ground pork. And beech and maple wood. Mm. Mm. Ooh, I think it goes great with this wine. Mm. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine these guys? The fruity, almost sweetness of this mm-hmm. wine. It's not sweet. Um, it's a dry wine. But it's got that sweet kind of I'd love to make feeling. like a homemade pizza and throw some of these suckers on there. Maybe. It'd be pretty good. Yeah. Goes, great on a charcuterie. Charcuterie. There you go. You got it. <laughs> charcuterie. Charcuterie. Um, but and anyway. to say charcuterie. 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 It's a treat. It's not, it's not a treat. It's cute. <laughs> um, with only like 170 calories. It's all meat. One carb. Ooh. This would be great for macros. It's got a don't lot say, don't of Don't say macros. In it. We're doing. Sorry. I'm just thinking about a oh, wine and snacks. <laughs> these are not macros. The second one, not as much. Yeah. Anyway, these are excellent. Great with the wine. All right, let's get these out of the way. Castle. Mm-hmm. Are, are we rating these at the end? Yeah. Okay. I forget. We do everything. It's been a while. I know. It's been a while. Um, this is M80 Chardonnay. Yep. The label is... There we go. You know what an M80 is? Yeah. It's a like a mortar. Yeah. Like a firecracker. Yep. Very loud. Yeah. It was just... The cork says boom, mm-hmm. which I'm hoping is I'm the amount. I'm scared of-, of this one. Me too. I don't like Chardonnay. I like Chardonnay when they're done in steel. I don't. <laughs> I don't like Chardonnay. I don't generally like California but and Oak Age Chardonnay. This is another one that came from our amazing Wine Club. Yeah. friend Abby. Thank so. you, Abby. Pretty excited about this. Uh, this one's from Sonoma County. Uh, right next to Napa, I think Sonoma's right on the water, mm-hmm. right on the ocean. Sure. Um, the Pacific Ocean. Uh, cool thing about this one, age surly, uh, that means on the lees in French. What's happening is the wine is in contact with the dead yeast cells that are usually like filtered out, and it gives it like a different kind of, it adds sugar, basically, polysaccharides. So it gives it like a richer, like creamier kind of thing going on. You got real into this. Sorry if I bored you. Whoa. <laughs> you know how like French they nerd nerded French out. Stop it. I did not nerd out hard on the snacks. I right. should have nerded it's out fine. harder. Okay. Um, Let's smell. Mm. Smells like Chardonnay. <laughs> it's like, mmm. Smells like. Smells like. White wine. I. <laughs> doesn't really have honey maybe a little bit of honey really yeah you know touch of honey lots of sugar the best I can do for this mm mm-hmm. it's like if you took unripened pears so like pears right from mm-hmm. the tree that are not that quite have, like, there no yet flavor yeah mm-hmm. slice them roll those in butter that's what this smells like. That's what this smells like. To me, it smells like a dried piece of wood, and then you rub some honey on it, and then let it sit outside for like a week in the rain. And that's what this smells like to me. Hmm. Hmm. Also, check out these sweet glasses. Oh, yeah, the fall glasses. Fall glasses. Woo, they got leaves on them. They we love leaves. leaves. We love, we love uh, fall. Cool thing about this one, too, is French oak, again. Hmm. American oak, yeah. American oak is huge in the California Chardonnay game. You playing that. All right, sip it up. Sorry, I cleaned out the glasses. No, it's... <laughs> okay. You got something to say? No? You want me to go first? Mm-hmm. It tastes like nothing. Really? Yeah. It's like, I don't know. It's um, not very flavorful. 
<laughs> it's, uh, did you really like it? This is my favorite Chardonnay I've ever had. <laughs> this is so good. Okay. Uh, like I said, pears. I'm also getting apples now. I'm also getting, like, clotted cream. Butter, like I was talking about, of course. It's California Chardonnay. You're going to have a little bit of butter. A uh, little bit of sweetness to it. Uh, it's... Are you getting any of that? No? You taste white wine? I taste white wine. Could be Bala Barefoot. Really? Yeah. This one is really good. I love this Chardonnay. <laughs> and I don't usually love Chardonnays. Love and Chardonnay are usually two words that don't come out of my mouth. It's um, fine. It's from 2014. Uh, it's a little bit older than I like to have my Chardonnays. I usually like to have them one or two years after they're produced. I don't like them sitting. Um, but this is really good. Maybe I'll have to age my Chardonnays a little bit more. Maybe you have to age your Chardonnays and drink them alone. That's so creamy. You don't like that? I don't. It's not that dry. It's not that dry. It definitely, I get a little bit of sweetness and um, it goes down pretty well. Mm -hmm. Like I could definitely see like drinking it. With, like, I think if you like fish. Chardonnays, <laughs> run to the store and get this. M80, uh, Russian River Valley, Sonoma County. Uh, it doesn't help that I like don't. Vinted and bottled by VC Wines in Oakville, California. Yeah, it's, um, usually Chardonnays are so boring to me. This one has a lot going on that I usually don't get out of Chardonnays. I'm loving it. Yeah, sorry. It's fine. <laughs> we're allowed to be different. I know, it's just weird that we're different. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, um, let's snack oh, it up. Yes, let's snack it on up. Maybe I'll like it with a snack. Maybe. If another fruit fly comes at me, yeah. I'm going to throw these hands. All right. <laughs> you going to throw hands at the fruit fly? <laughs> uh, Brookside. Dark chocolate vineyard inspired. This is the Chardonnay grape um, with peach flavor. Okay. Um, they make two vineyard inspirations. The other one is Merlot with black currant. Yeah. Um, we were gonna premiere both of them, but somebody had a midnight sweet tooth and I ate them. <laughs> I crushed the whole bag too. <laughs> I, I needed some really, chocolate a couple really weeks ago. Really, really looking forward to them. So, Crush them. um, these are really neat. Um. Vineyard inspired chocolate. Yeah, like this that. is dark chocolate with like a soft center in the middle. And available everywhere. Everywhere. You get them at Target. Target. Um, the cool thing about Brookside though is that you can go to their website and any of the snacks that they have, they'll show you what wine they pair with. Like they automatically pair them for you and tell you like what they'll be good with. Did, so. did it say? No, so for this one, because it already has the wine in it, it, told, it didn't have a pairing, but like. For instance, That's cool. They have like almond clusters, and they tell you that they'll go good with, go good with like a Chardonnay and things like that. Cool. Oh. Smell like chocolate. Mm -hmm. They're pretty big. Yeah, it's a good size chocolate morsel. It's like a fancy raisinette. Mm hmm. Mmm. There's peach. Mmm. I was expecting something totally different. It's really good. I don't taste Chardonnay at all. No. I'm getting peach and dark chocolate. Peach and chocolate. That's what I get. But, but like you said, Chardonnay's not a super strong flavor, yeah. so... It can be, if you make it that way. Yeah. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna pop another one, and then yeah. drink the Chardonnay. Let's do it. I think we're reaching the 20-minute mark. Mm-hmm. 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 Hmm. These are pretty darn good. Mm. I like it with the chocolate. I do. Chardonnay with chocolate. Do you I like do. the Chardonnay a little bit better? I like it with something sweet. Mm -hmm. It actually pairs well with, really well with something sweet. I was picturing it with like a glazed pork chop or like really? some fish. But mm -hmm. I can see it going well with this. Yeah. This actually mm -hmm. makes me like the Chardonnay more. Brings out the flavors of Chardonnay a little bit. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Cool. It's still not my favorite, but yeah. <laughs> I just don't like Chardonnay. It's that, it, I don't either. I don't think um, you're ever going to see me being like, tens across the board for a Chardonnay. Maybe if it came in a box. 
just get a whiny email. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. <laughs> um, let's start with yeah, the Cosentino cigar. cigar. Oh, out of 10, 7.7. 7. Oh, I'm giving this guy a 9. 9? Wow. Yeah. I'm okay. drinking this all day. All day, every day. It's a great fall one, too. Yeah, I'm going to set mine up to 8. I like yeah. it more. I'm just trying not to give anything too much. 8. Yeah. Solid 8 for me. That's really good. This yeah. Is... You could bring this anywhere. Yeah. Uh, shoot for the 2000, 2015. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a 2016 out too. Um, yeah. We saw it mixed in there in World Market, but the 2015, I believe, you'll probably have to dig had like the 93 rack. points yeah. or something like that. It was something crazy. Highly rated, um, awesome old vine though. Yes. Yes. It uh, is. Black Castle snacks. Black Castle salami chips. Picante was good. Mm-hmm. Like I like it. Um, I could definitely see like throwing this on a pizza or throwing it on a charcuterie charcuterie thank you uh, i'm buying these for a road trip this is much better than the crap you get at the gas station that's yeah just and you can find it from stuff. between like 3.99 and 5.99 which mm-hmm. is super affordable jerky prices are crazy right now yeah. so this is great um how about the m80 chardonnay nine nine mm-hmm. from your boy i've never thought i would give a chardonnay a nine so. <laughs> I'm giving it a six paired with the chocolate. Really? <laughs> Probably. What about without a chocolate? About five. Five. Wow. Yeah. Much different. Yes. Yes. yes All yes. right. All right. And um, the Brookside Vineyard inspired dark chocolates. Six. Yeah, like a six. Um, it's just chocolate. It is a little bit of flavor. In it's honestly, all. yeah, it's it's pretty good. I thought it was gonna be like boom flavor. Wine. Were the Merlot ones really good? No, they taste like raisin nuts. Cool. <laughs> Good to know. Brookside, nice try. I do like their other snacks that they make. Really so. good, like good chocolate. Yeah, they they have solid chocolate snacks. Like it's yeah. definitely not. Um, and Hershey makes them, which is interesting. Also, I like the uh, acai berry one. It's a product of Canada as well. Our snacks both came straight out of Canada. Yeah, California and Canada. California and Canada. Just it out tonight. Double C's. All right. But I would say, much better episode than last time <laughs> when we gave like zeros. <laughs> My bad, okay? <laughs> My bad. I was just trying to break out of the mold a little bit. Yeah. All right, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Yeah, win um, some stuff. Don't forget about the giveaway. Look at these sweet fall wine stoppers. Wine stoppers. Where can you get those? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows where you can get those? <laughs> you only shop at two places. Three if you count 7 Eleven to get these sweet wrap snacks. <laughs> <laughs> These are the Trina honeydew melon flavors. So. These are the honeydew, honeydew cheese curls. Oh, sorry, not honeydew melon. Honeydew yeah, cheese honeydew curls. Honeydew cheese curls. Um, so sweet. You want to win those, right? You do. So you want to wrap snack because you can't get them at all. Seven Eleven. Subscribe. We know this. Like, email, get all the things. You want to drink wanna, with the cork again? Yeah. You want to maybe be on the cork again? Ooh. Do it. Yes. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right. Uh, thank you as always for visiting us episode 10 we hope to be back next week we're gonna get back on this we'll see we're gonna try to get back on this yeah all right um anyway uh with that send off we're the dorks pop and corks glad that you visited us again why are you saying visited us because they are visiting with us they're hanging out with us all right bye